Hello. Uh, my name is Dror Ben Naim. I'm the CEO of Smart Sparrow. Uh, I really want to tell you everything and show you everything, but actually I'm not going to show you anything because I want you all to come to our launch. Tomorrow we are actually launching our product publicly in the launch ad at 10.30. So today I'm just going to persuade you that why it's a great idea to come tomorrow to the launch. So Smart Sparrow is an adaptive e-learning platform enabling anyone to create rich, interactive, and adaptive learning experiences. <coughs> at Smart Sparrow, we know that the future of education is online. And we believe that the future of online education is rich, interactive, and adaptive. I know what you're thinking. I'm biased. But it turns out I'm not the only one who thinks so. 841 presidents of, of colleges and universities here in the US were surveyed and identified adaptive learning as have the most potential for positive impact on education, amongst other ed tech trends. A report that came just three weeks ago, commissioned by the Gates Foundation, uh, found that the best kept secret in higher education is adaptive learning, suggesting it has the potential to, quote, positively impact the iron triangle of cost, quality, and access. Why is it? Because it achieves personalized learning at scale. At uh, 500 attendees of the Pearson site event just two weeks ago in Chicago were uh, surveyed what they think has the most pot potential for positive impact. What is the next gen of online learning? 22%, the most identified adaptive learning. So what is adaptive learning? Well. I think that the best way to explain what adaptive learning is, is to contrast this with other modes of one size fits all type of learning experiences. For example, the lecture or the MOOC. We think that if MOOC is a one size fits all learning experiences, smart power and adaptive learning is much more like a private lesson. So what does that mean? First of all, we have a focus on learning by doing. We're not about listening to someone or reading something. It's about active learning. Second, we're talking about instant and intelligent and adaptive feedback specific to the errors and misconceptions that are done by the learner. Third, the learning sequence itself is adaptive, what we call the learning path, adaptive learning path. And fourth, the teacher is able to adapt the content to these students, to other students, and so forth. So we talked about learning by doing. Learning by doing is f 15 times better than being in a lecture. The only thing that is better than learning by doing is learning by teaching. So learning by doing is obviously the best way to learn. We all intrinsically know that. We talked about instance adaptive feedback. Well, president and CEO of edX, the lead, one of the leading MOOC platform, saying that based on the data they collected, uh, they realized that the most value that students have is instant feedback that they're getting while they learn. So we teased out into essentially three principles that we believe are, are crucial for awesome online learning. One, promote learning by doing. Two, be intelligent and adaptive, and three, empower the teacher. What does that mean? Promote learning by doing. You want to focus on interactive, simulative content, rich, rich media. Be intelligent and adaptive. You, you, know, you want to use the power, the incredible power of computer technology to drive personalized learning to students, not just transmitting them text or video because, you, because it's, you know, it's the first thing that came to mind. So we're talking about providing adaptive feedback, recommendation of content, adapt to l the learning to individual students. But we at SmartSparrow believe that the most important principle is empower the teachers. Let me repeat that, empower the teacher. And how do you do that? You give the teacher tools. Tools for creating this kind of rich adaptive content, giving it to students, and analyzing how the students are learning. So if you, know, if you believe that the future of online education is rich, interactive, and adaptive, you've got two, two strategies to do. First. Get a, get, about, get a bunch of people to create this rich content and sell it. We call it the publisher model. Or develop a platform that lets anyone create this kind of content. And this is what SmartSpire is doing. So let's talk about this. Let's see some examples for this content. This is an adaptive tutorial in uh, first year mechanical engineering. Students are actually analyzing forces that are acting on a beam. What's important to notice here is that they actually draw the graph that they need to do, not on paper, on the computer, and the system is smart enough to give them feedback and says, hey, this section, the red section, is wrong. Again, rich, interactive, and adaptive content. A virtual lab in biology. We teach science by letting students do experiments. Here, it's like having this tutor over the shoulder experience. You're in a rich environment, you do, you do a, lot, a bunch of learning by doing activities, and you get guided. You get feedback, adaptive sequencing, and so forth. How do you train doctors how to diagnose diseases? Again, it's something you can't do with text, you can't do with multiple choice quizzes. 
You want to do a big, rich simulation and an intelligent one that guides them towards where, in fact, in this diagram lies the cancer and what evidence do we have for that? Think about teaching nurses and medical staff that feeble defibrillating patients. Again, this kind of doesn't lend itself to text and multiple choice. You need to have rich simulations, and these are rich, adaptive, and intelligent simulations that also come with analytics. So I showed you a bunch of examples in the sort of adaptive learning in the lesson level. Arizona State University reached out to us and said, hey, we would like to build an adaptive course. Can you do that with us? We were more than happy. Habitable World is the world's first smart course. It's entirely run on Smart Sparrow platform. It's made out of beautiful, scientifically accurate simulations, and it's entirely adaptive. If you have the time, if you're interested, I really urge you to check habworlds.org. If you find that interesting, this potentially will blow your mind. This is a four and a half million dollar project with top 10, the top 10 medical uh, institutions in Australia. It's all about creating next generation, rich, interactive, adaptive content on top of the Smart Sparrow platform. It's called the BEST Network, stands for Biomedical Education and Skill Training Network. All these were examples of the kind of content and the kind of learning applications that our clients are, are using our platform to develop. Again, our clients are using our platform and, and they, that's what they develop. I hope I got you excited. And I really, if you want to see how all these things were done, not only what we've done, but how it was done, come tomorrow to our public launch, 10.30, in the launch end event here in the center. Thank you very much.